One. Because that's how many first round picks the Warriors begrudgingly gave up in a sign and trade with the Nets for D'Angelo Russell after Kevin Durant reportedly balked at being traded straight up for Russell, pressuring the Warriors to include the first round pick before he'd sign off. All that according to our own Brian Windhurst. So, Bomani, what do you make of everything I just said there? So, at one point, somebody asked Kevin Durant why his shoes did not sell for $85, and his response was, I'm not an $85 player. <laughs> that is what this feels like to me. Like, the idea that you go, even on the side of trade, you're going to trade me straight up for D'Angelo Russell? Nah, baby, I'm worth more than that, though. A few million in there and a pick then that'll feel right because I don't know what exactly he thinks is unfair about this deal. The only thing I can point to is I'm worth more than D'Angelo Russell. My favorite part of this transaction is that the Nets didn't seem to want to do that part. This was KD specifically doing something to benefit the Nets, yes, but clearly doing something on behalf of his own sense of self. And this also just plays into the perfect end to the Warriors story where even on the way out, the guy who was leaving, the guy who is Kevin Durant, as he's reaffirmed many times, he's still making them pay, man. He's still trying to get one over on that team. Yeah, I mean, can you blame him? Like, hey, they may or may not have had some measure of responsibility for the fact that his career is in legitimate limbo. There is that. Money, not so much, but his career. So, no, I would not be surprised if he's trying to stick it to the Warriors at every single turn. If I was, yo, they still got that dude that called me that one word in front of America. Trey, you remember what Trey Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought talking about Sorry. you, not bad. I, yeah. Twenty thirteen. That's the last time Drew Holiday was an NBA All Star. Now Pelicans GM David Griffin is challenging his point guard to be the MVP. Let's watch what he told Sirius XM Radio. We're gonna watch what he told the radio. You want to be the MVP? Do you think that's something he's capable of being? I do, and nobody thought Steve Nash was, and he was two-time MVP, and right. people would have thought we were insane for even uttering that notion. Players in this league are so gifted. When you're as good as Drew Holiday is, what makes you take the next step is just your vision of self. And sometimes you need to be given permission to dominate people. And in his situation with Anthony around, I think he was always sort of waiting as though it was Anthony's job. And now Drew knows it's his job and, and he's ready to do that. Pablo's holiday, that level of player. I didn't think he was, but he was really good last year. And David Griffin, who I trust on all sorts of levels, especially in terms of player evaluation, he got a call apparently this past off season from the Los Angeles Clippers, who wanted to look into guys to pair with Kawhi Leonard before Kawhi Leonard demanded Paul George. And Drew Holiday was the guy. And David Griffin said, no, I value him too highly. So this is not just empty talk. He actually believes this. No, no, no. He does not believe he's an MVP caliber player. I don't think for a second that he actually believes that in a league with LeBron James, James Harden, Giannis, Embiid, all these other dudes, that he actually thinks that Drew Holiday is that guy. It's fine if he doesn't believe that, though, because I think his larger point is correct, which is this is a dude who has largely been viewed as a secondary player, somebody who was there to set up other guys. But on this team, he is the number one. Zion Williamson will one day be the number one number one player but that day is not today that guy for them is Drew Holiday and he is going to need Drew Holiday to go out there and act like he's the best player on the floor whether he is or not well I think there is a dark horse MVP candidacy campaign that is brewing here though if the Pelicans are for real and this is contingent obviously what on is, the Pelicans as a real, team what does for real mean 50 games you think they're gonna give the MVP for winning 50 games unless he averages without averaging a triple double well, this is the thing, right? Drew Holiday is a two-way player. Drew Holiday is the guy. If this team is something, he is the guy who would be the MVP because we agree that Zion Williamson is not going to be that guy just yet. But they are set up with a lot of complementary pieces to make a run. And Drew Holiday plays offense, plays defense. He's not going to win MVP, but could he get votes? Why not? Because he's Drew Holiday and he plays for the Pelicans. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports analysis and highlights, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.